My worst fear as a doctor in regards to the antibiotic resistance crisis is not being able to treat a patient and really having to tell that family that there's no options to treat them. Antibiotics are not being developed as quickly as bacteria are becoming resistant. Certain bacteria are becoming increasingly resistant to a lot of the antibiotics we commonly use to treat urinary tract infections. We have fewer and fewer options to treat some patients with just simple pneumonias. We have fewer antibiotics to treat children just because more studies have to be done in that population. It's, it's a huge problem. When I've seen patients who have had bad outcomes from inappropriate antibiotic use or bad infections, it really inspires me to try to, as a whole, um, do something about the antimicrobial movement. This is uh, the morphology of the colony. You can see it has a rather thick capsule. We have put some prescribing practices in place in our hospital, and as a result, we've seen a reduction in some of our resistant organisms within the hospital. We need to have global stewardship in all hospitals and all outpatient settings to have an impact on re reducing antimicrobial resistance and the development of superbugs. I was interested in coming to Washington, D.C. to let lawmakers know what a problem that antimicrobial resistance is in day-to-day -day practice and to continue to put efforts into support for drug development, support for research, for anything that can promote slowing down this crisis. So you're going to have a remainder, right? Um, sure. As a mom, if my kids were to become sick, I would want to make sure that they have options and are able to be treated. If we do nothing about the antimicrobial resistance problem, we will essentially be back in the past where before antibiotics were developed and people died from common infections. We can all impact the antimicrobial resistance problem by saving antibiotics for when we absolutely need them.